The World Health Organization has issued a statement that addresses the matter of Taiwan's exclusion. It said that the question of Taiwan's membership in the organization was up to member states and not WHO staff. A spokesman released the statement after being asked to respond to an awkward interview given by WHO advisor Bruce Islewood. WHO considered Taiwan's membership. Hello? We, 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 I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I couldn't hear your question. Okay, yeah, let me, let, let me, let me repeat the question. No, so. that's okay. Let, let's move to another one then. After Alward was asked about Taiwan, he stalled for about 10 seconds. He tried avoiding the question, but the reporter persisted. I'm actually curious on talking about Taiwan as well, on Taiwan's case. We decided to give Dr. Alward another call to follow up. And I just want to see if you can comment a bit on how Taiwan has done so far in terms of containing the virus. Well, we've, we've already talked about China. The WHO official's awkward interview has become a hot topic of debate. U.S. think tank and senior advisor for Asia, Bonnie Glasser, tweeted that Islewood's refusal to answer the question and rudely cut off the interview was despicable. I believe that this administrative official's petty little tricks have made it clear to everyone that their ways of doing things are wrong. The WHO loves to make much to do about nothing. Taiwan is such a beautiful word. Given that the WHO flies off the handle at the slightest provocation, it ought to change its name. It should replace the W for world with a different word. It's like the saying we have here in Taiwan, he's got the garrison command in his heart. They've got China in their hearts. 30% of the WHO's funding comes from Europe, 21% comes from the US and 19% from Japan. And these three areas are currently being ravaged by the epidemic. Everyone should stop and think about whether the WHO needs reform and what aspects of it are inadequate. Last Sunday night, the WHO released a response to the controversy. It said, the Taiwanese caseload is low relative to population. We continue to follow developments closely. WHO is taking lessons learned from all areas, including Taiwanese health authorities, to share best practices globally. It remarked that the question of Taiwanese membership in WHO is up to WHO member states, not WHO staff. We we have the ability and we are extremely willing. We are willing to work shoulder to shoulder with other countries to protect public health. The WHO should consider allowing Taiwan to participate in the global epidemic prevention system. The unfolding pandemic has not only highlighted the strengths of Taiwan's healthcare system, but also the oppression Taiwan faces on the international stage. The president of Mexico is drawing criticism for making light of the coronavirus pandemic. President Andres Manuel López Obrador laughingly shrugged off risk for his country this week by pulling out religious tokens and flashing an American $2 bill. He dismisses criticism as political. De que no se politice este asunto. Porque les puse el caso de anoche eh, y es evidente de que hay un interés político y esto no ayuda. But López Obrador points to a World Health Organization disease map and says for now there's little reason to worry in Mexico. Poisoned by humans who put themselves above nature. The Earth just cannot handle the sheer number of humans who live here. Something has to give. And I believe that it's up to us who have lived a good life to make sure that our children will have the opportunity to live good lives too. I have lived a good life. 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 It's time to heal our planet. It's time to remove your footprint. Agenda 21 is coming soon.